Psalm 126, A Song of Ascents When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like streams in the Negev. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. Psalm 127 A Song of Ascents of Solomon Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. Psalm 128, A Song of Ascents Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be blessed, and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Hello and welcome to Bible Time. Today's Psalm 126 through 128. Psalm 126 is about an anonymous psalm who speaks about the joy he will bring as a result of sowing in tears. After the suffering, when we stand firm in God, we will have the joy of laughter in our lives. In Psalm 127 is a psalm written by King Solomon who says, House built apart from God is in vain. Unless the Lord builds the house, no house shall stand showing that God is the ultimate builder of our life. Now Psalm 128 speaks about the blessing of everyone who fears the Lord. Those who walk in His way will be blessed in all He does, and the whole house will be blessed because the fear of the Lord. The righteous action and faith in God will not only bless us, but it will bless those who are around us. And so let us continue to walk by faith and fear the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. We know that those who fear your name, those who walk in your ways, are the one who's going to be blessed in, in tremendous way. Help us, Lord, to live our life honoring you, living our life to glorify your name. And so that not only us get blessed, but it is those around us will be blessed through it also. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.